Hey up everyone, welcome to the Rugby League History Channel. Tonight I'll be doing my 2022 Betfred Super League ladder prediction video. Last year I did a ladder prediction video, so this is the second year I'll be doing such video. And just before I start, I'd like to say that just because I see that a team is going to finish here or they're going to finish there, it doesn't therefore mean that, that team will finish in that place. This is just my thoughts and my own personal opinion. I don't have any super magical powers where if I see a certain team's going to come ninth or 10th, that's where they will finish. And also, just because I might see that your particular team might not finish where you expect them to be, it doesn't make me an idiot. It doesn't mean that I know not about rugby league. It's just my own personal opinion. And I've seen in the past with people sharing their ladder prediction videos, they're copping a lot of abuse. Just the other week, I shared um, a YouTuber's uh, ladder prediction video. His name is CJ Moxley, and I shared it on all the fan pages. And especially with the Castleford fans, they weren't very nice. They were bang out of order, in my personal opinion. They called him a knobhead. They called him a moron, a joker. They said that he was on drugs. They said that he knew nothing about rugby league. He was a dumbass. I think those comments were bang out of order and it's just someone's prediction video there's no need to go on like that just last year with my own ladder prediction video for the 2021 ladder prediction i said that huddersfield would come ninth or tenth and i got the same type of comments from huddersfield fans calling me a clown a fucking idiot a dumbass a knobhead all this type of stuff said i knew nothing about rugby league and huddersfield ended up coming ninth or tenth and I'm still waiting for the apology from those said Huddersfield fans. I haven't heard now so far. But anyway, enough about that. That wasn't why you called. You're here to see me predictions for the 2022 Betfred Super League ladder. And like I did last year, I'll start with the club that, I'm get, that I think will get relegated. And I'll work my way up to the league leader shield. So the team that I think that will come last and be relegated in 2022 will be... Toulouse Olympic. I think that the newcomers will be relegated in 2022. Coming in 11th is Wakefield Trinity. I think Wakefield will come 11th in the 2022 season. Coming in at 10th is Salford. Nick from Australia's team. I think Salford will finish in 10th place on the table. Coming in 9th is Castleford. I'm pretty sure their fans are currently smashing the keyboard or throwing their phone out the window for me seeing they'll come ninth. Coming in at eighth is Huddersfield. I think Huddersfield will yet again miss the playoffs. They'll come in eighth on the table. And coming in seventh this year, Hull Kingston Rovers. I think Hull Kingston Rovers will have another good season, but they'll just miss out on the playoffs. And making the playoffs, coming in at sixth, is Hull FC, the black and whites. I think Hull FC will come sixth this year and reach the playoffs. Coming in at number five, fifth on the table, Wigan. I think that even though Wigan are going through a bit of changes, they'll still make the playoffs and they'll come in fifth. Coming in fourth is Warrington, the wire. I think Warrington will be up there again this year and they'll come in fourth. Coming in third is Leeds. I think Leeds are in for a good year and I see them coming third on the table. I think that they'll have a good season. Coming in second is the back-to-back-to-back -back -back champions, St Ellens. I think St Ellens will be up there yet again and they'll come in second on the table. And the league leader Shields, I think this year they come very close last year to winning the grand final, will be Catalans. I think Catalan Dragons will win the league leader Shields. Now, just briefly describing some of my choices, I chose to lose Olympic to be relegated. Initially, I was going to go for Wakefield to be relegated, but I've had a few discussions with Wakefield fans, and they're very passionate. And they've told me that even when they're really when they're going really really bad, they always find a way to survive, and they always manage to survive. And and that's true. They haven't been relegated since they've come into the Super League. To lose Olympic, this is their first ever year in the big time, and I'm not too sure how they'll go. They were undefeated last year in Championship and they put in some good performances in that league but 
there's a big difference between running out against Dewsbury, Oldham, Swinton, teams like that, and coming up against Snellens, Leeds, Warrington, Catalans, these type of clubs. I think it's going to be a very, very big test for Toulouse Olympic in 2022. Also, they've got some issues around COVID. I know that one of their star players, Mark Corrale, he uh, is looking likely to not play this year due to the COVID situation. And a few of their other players haven't been vaccinated or don't want to be vaccinated, which I think will cause some issues. Also, they don't really have that much experience at this level. There are some players that have played at Super League level and done all right. Joseph Paolo, Peru, players like that. But overall, I think for a few of their players, this will be their first step at this level. And... Uh, I'm not too sure if Toulouse Olympique will be able to stay up, unfortunately. A lot of people don't want them to be relegated, but I think that they will be relegated. Another choice which I tossed and turned over was, initially I had, in the other old ladder prediction, I had Hull Kingston Rovers coming in 6th, and I had Hull FC coming 7th. And I was thinking about it, I was looking at the teams, and I was really torn over who I thought would, would make the playoffs in 2022. And I've decided to go for Hull FC. Um, Hull FC have got some good players. They had a few injuries last year. Things didn't really go as expected. They they started the year off all right. But I think um, I'm going to put my faith in Hull FC. A lot of their fans have, have told me very passionately that they believe that they're going to meet the playoffs. And uh, they they have a history of making the playoffs more than Hull Kingston Rovers. And... I'm going to back Brett Hodgson the turn and around and guide Hull FC to the playoffs. I don't think that they're going to be one of the contenders, but they're certainly going to be in the playoff mix. Also, with the, with the top four, initially I had Warrington coming third and Leeds coming fourth, but I changed my mind. I've decided to put Leeds in third, Warrington fourth. Um, initially, I was looking at the squads and I think I can just see Leeds pipping Warrington to get that third spot. In terms of the league leader shield, I know a lot of people haven't tipped Catalan Dragons to replicate what they did last year, but they they haven't really lost too many players. Catalan Dragons. I know James Maloney is the big one. That's a big loss. But then they've got someone like Mitchell Pierce coming in, who has played over three hundred NRL games. He's won a premiership. He's been there, done that. He's played for uh, New South Wales and State of Origin. He's got lots of experience, and. Um, they're very hard to beat at the Stade Gilbert Brutus over there in France, Perpignan. So I I can't see why not Catalan can't replicate what they did last year. They got so close last year to winning that grand final. They, they were in front for uh, most of that game against St. Ellens, but they just couldn't get over the line. But maybe this year will be the year that they do get over the line. Anyway, that is me 2022 Betfred Super League ladder prediction video. Hope you enjoyed this video. No doubt there's going to be people upset out there, especially the Castleford fans. They're probably already calling me a fucking idiot and saying I know nothing about rugby league. I'm, I'm okay with that. But uh, let me know in the comment section below where you think the teams will finish in 2022. Thanks for tuning in for the video. I'll be ma making another video very, very shortly. And I'll catch us all later in that one. Tell you bye for now.